Logitech has led the charge in building relatively high quality security cameras that fully take advantage of Apple's HomeKit Secure Video. Previously, the company brought secure video compatibility to the Logitech Circle 2 security camera. But now there's a new model, which offers the features right out of the box, the Logitech Circle View. At $160, the camera isn't overly expensive, but to meet that price point, does it compromise on new features? I've been using the Logitech Circle View security camera to find out. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps support my work and I would appreciate that support. The first thing to notice about the Logitech Circle View is its design, and it's drastically different than the Circle 2. The Circle 2 already wasn't necessarily an ugly device, with its black and white colour scheme and relatively sleek look. But in my opinion, the Circle View steps things up, and the all black build looks sleeker and more subdued, and should blend in a little more into its environment. The only thing that doesn't really match the design is the white non-removable cable. It's really not a big deal, but it would have been nice if the cable was black too so it could blend more into the overall look of the camera. Of course, the design offers some functional improvements too. Most notable is the fact that the camera was built with privacy in mind. When you want to hide what you're doing from the camera, you can simply tilt the main unit down and then tilt it back up when you're ready to use it again. It's important to note that tilting the camera doesn't actually turn the camera off. It just hides whatever's happening. The microphone will still remain active too, which is something to keep in mind. Thankfully, there is a way to quick and easily turn the camera off if you want. That's using the power button on the back of the main camera module. Press the button and the camera will turn off. Plus it will mute the microphone too. Also on the front of the camera is an LED light, which indicates the camera's status. The camera can be used both inside and outside, thanks to its waterproof design. In the box, you'll get a wall mount, which can come in handy for outdoor use. But considering there's no wireless version, you'll still need to find a way to power the camera if it's mounted outside. Setting up the Logitech Circle View is super easy. This camera is specifically built for HomeKit Secure Video, and as a result, Logitech has completely cut out the need to use the third-party Logitech app that you needed for the Circle 2 for things like firmware updates. Once the Circle 2 was set up with HomeKit Secure Video, users no longer needed the Logitech app, but now all of it is handled through the Apple Home app. To set up the camera, simply plug it into a power outlet, and once it's on, scan the HomeKit QR code in the Apple Home app. The camera then should be added to your home, where you can assign it to a room, set up automation for it, and more. I did experience some issues setting up the camera, but after resetting it, it quickly connected to HomeKit the way it was supposed to the first time. If you're having trouble with the camera, I recommend you do the same. Of course, because the camera is built for HomeKit, it's not worth buying the camera if you're not in Apple's ecosystem. You can't use this camera with other smart home ecosystems, and you actually can't even use it as a standalone camera without HomeKit. Once the Logitech Circle View is set up, it pretty much works the way you'd expect. The camera offers a 1080p resolution with a 180 degree wide angle sensor, and footage looks pretty good. Details are relatively clear and colours are bright enough. The camera also supports night vision, so you'll still be able to see what's going on at night and when the lights aren't on. Night vision has dual LEDs for around 15 feet of night vision. Alternatively, you could use the camera's motion sensor to trigger a smart light from Philips Hue or LifeX through automation with HomeKit. Now, 1080p isn't the highest resolution out there, especially in a world with Arlo 4K cameras, but that may not necessarily be Logitech's fault. HomeKit currently only supports 1080p video, so building a camera that supports a higher resolution wouldn't make much sense. Hopefully, HomeKit will step up the resolutions that it supports in the near future, and hopefully when it does, Logitech will develop a higher resolution camera to take advantage of that. There are real advantages to using HomeKit though. For starters, the camera will integrate with the rest of your smart home, and it's easy to automate the camera based on your location and so on. There's also the fact that video is end-to-end -end encrypted, which is always nice for security. So should you buy this camera? Well, yes. If you're a HomeKit user and want a great camera that supports HomeKit secure video, then this is the way to go. The camera has good video quality, a range of nice features, and more. If you don't use HomeKit, it's worth going for a different device. Thanks so much for watching this video, and check out the link in the description to buy the Logitech Circle View for yourself. Please subscribe to the channel if this video was helpful to you. My name's Christian, and I'll see you next time. See ya.